morning. It's uh, is it Wednesday, October 21st, 2020. It's 2.20 in the morning. I'm on my way to the gym right now. Sometimes when you, um, when you look around and you start doing the comparison test, you know, how's this person further than me in their weight loss? How's this person further than me in uh, their business financially? How's this person doing better than me? How, you know, you're, when you're in that comparison mode and you're looking at where everybody else is compared to where you think you should be, have you ever considered, and the reason why I'm asking this is because I, I'm, I'm a prime example of it, but have you ever considered the fact that just because you're not excelling or you're not seeing the kind of results everybody else is seeing in areas that they're seeing them in, that you're not seeing results in areas that really matter? Like, how's your relationship with your kids? You know, there's one thing I stand very grateful for is I know that my kids listen to me. I know that they respect me. I know when they look at me, they see somebody who is not settling for just the what is now versus the possibilities of what life can give you. And that's not measurable. It's not, not, that's not measurable. Yeah, would I like my business to be doing 14 million, 20 million? Absolutely. Absolutely. But sometimes you have to look at where your life is at right now. I mean, even if it's just to gain some momentum, you don't want to go shooting holes through everything that you that, 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 that isn't adding up or leveling up to what everybody else is doing. You don't you don't want to go defeating yourself. Sometimes it's just a matter of just taking inventory of where you are. And what are the things that you've asked for? What are the things that you've wanted to happen? And are they happening? And be okay with that. Be happy with that. Be satisfied with that. Because if you're not, you can put in all the hard work you want. If you're not grateful for what you have, I just don't see God opening up the door to give you more. And if you don't identify what you have, where are you feeling rejuvenated? As I was running the marathon or the, the triathlon, they have aid stations just at the point where you're getting ready to fall apart, they got an aid station. They got food there. They got hydration. And as you're fueling up, you have the opportunity to reflect on how far you've come and be thankful that you have the power and the energy to go further. 
But if you forsake the aid station and never give yourself the opportunity to see how far you come, at which point do you catch a break that gives you long enough to catch your wind to finish the race? If you're always looking at what is not right, it's going to be impossible to finish the race. And there's a lot of people who don't finish the race. They peter out. They run out of gas. They can't get it done. In their mind, everything is wrong. And absolutely nothing has went right. And when you think like that, It's hard to move forward.